About a month ago, a report came out that newly signed White Sox pitcher Mike Clevenger was under investigation by Major League Baseball after allegations of domestic violence. The woman who accused him posted a ton of information, at least from her side of the story, on Instagram, accusing Clevenger of physical, verbal, and emotional abuse toward her and their child. The allegations that were put forth against Clevenger are pretty damning and disturbing, but I'm going to make something very clear. Mike Clevenger is currently an innocent man. If he is found guilty, he will be found guilty. But as of this moment in time, it's important to understand how everything works. As for anyone wanting to criticize the White Sox for signing Clevenger, well, they didn't actually know about the accusations prior to signing him. Mike Clevenger has since arrived to spring training in Arizona with his new team, and has of course had to answer some questions from the media. Something he also did was address the team in the clubhouse on the elephant in the room. It seems to have gone well because two of the bigger names in the White Sox clubhouse in Joe Kelly and Lucas Giolito, they voiced their support. When asked about it, Giolito said he thought it was cool that with everything going on, Clevenger was able to address it and he appreciated that, with Joe Kelly going on to say that it took a lot of guts for Clevenger to address the team. This is some of what Clevenger said in front of the media to address everything. Watch. I trust the process in MLB, I really do. I think there's a reason I'm sitting here in front of you today, and I'm uh, just asking everyone to wait before they rush to judgment. So wait till the, the actual facts are out there, wait till there's actual evidence, and then make your decision on who you think I am. But I'll just really appreciate just a, a little bit of, you know, just, just wait for there's, there to be actual evidence before you start making judgments and stuff. This is about my children that I care more about than even this game. I want to share my sentiment to them, that I, how bad I felt that this was how I was starting out. This is how they were meeting me for a lot of these guys that don't know me. And I didn't want their first day at camp to be ask, answering questions about this nonsense. Are you, are you confident you'll be fully exonerated? I'm confident. I am. I'm, I'm not going to talk about any of the Bauer stuff, and I've never said that. <laughs> yeah. There's been mistakes in my past. Correct. Wait, wait for the actual the actual facts and wait wait to see what the the decision decision is i know a few guys around here and uh the guys that know me i think they they know the truth there's an elephant in the room i wanted to you know address it and no i'm not i'm not gonna hide away from it i'm still i, I didn't do anything wrong. Since his first day arriving, there hasn't really been any drama or any issues looming across White Sox camp. I mean, sure, the accusations haven't gone away and we still don't know who is in the right. Maybe the stuff that was said is true or it's false, we don't know. But what we do know is that for the time being, the White Sox plan on Mike Clevenger being a part of their starting rotation in 2023. As for others, there's of course going to be reporters and people with agendas. Those who want to jump to conclusions and attempt to paint Clevenger as a horrible person before the investigation is complete. And we have a couple examples of this. But before we get any further, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers on the channel, so if you're new or just haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. Just recently, the woman who was accusing Clevenger went on the radio station 670 The Score, and she of course went off on the situation and criticized Clev, saying that he's full of himself, a narcissist, someone who will deny, lie, and project, and that that's just who he is. Well, Clev has since threatened to sue the radio station, saying this. Now, what you're about to hear is actually an AI-generated voice. It's not actually Mike Clevenger speaking. I tried to clone his voice using AI, and here's what it sounds like saying his actual quote, something he really said. Listen. It's the world we're living in. Everyone wants the clicks. It doesn't matter what the real truth is. Everyone will stop and look at the car crash, but no one's going to stop and smell the flowers. That's how the world is. But that was really trashy of them. That was some low-life material right there. My lawyers are paying attention. My lawyers are getting in contact with them, and they probably already sent a cease and desist for defamation. So they just got themselves involved in this too. So good for them. Let me know in the comments if that sounded like him. I'm testing this stuff out and want to hear how accurate you think it is. But anyway, I looked up Mike Clevenger's name on the internet and found an article in particular that is very clearly biased and against Clevenger before we know all the facts. Paul Sullivan of the Chicago Tribune accused Clevenger of causing another distraction for the White Sox because he threatened to sue that radio station and even approached Clevenger in person at White Sox spring training to quote unquote give him a chance to explain his reason for threatening a lawsuit against the sports radio station. According to the reporter Sullivan, Clevenger didn't even look his way and said, I don't need your chance, bro. Sullivan then spends the rest of his article mocking Clevenger's use of the word bro and mentioned that he didn't sign autographs for fans. Again, 
Maybe Clevenger is guilty. Maybe he's truly a horrible person like the accuser is making him out to be. But the fact of the matter is that we don't know the facts yet. It's not like this reporter Paul Sullivan knows something that we don't. He's just trying to find ways to make Clev out to be a bad guy for his agenda, even though he doesn't know for sure he is a bad guy. It will be interesting to see how this investigation plays out, what we find out, and how it will affect the White Sox. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.